everybody. About 45 minutes out of Fort Smith on I-40 heading east. We got the I-40 Blues. Seems like every time I try to get home on I-40 on a Friday, this is what happens. Ah. Anyway, what do you do? So I got a message a little while ago from Corey, who's from the Houston area, said he's leaving tomorrow to report to the Maverick North Little Rock yard for to begin training Sunday two days from now so uh, way to go Corey congratulations hope that goes well for you and I, when I was circling around the building uh, there at the Maverick Fort Smith yard and uh, you know about to leave I was talking to my wife on the phone and there was a, a driver uh, in one of the loading areas just sitting there waiting to be loaded and he recognized me and so I rode down my window and we spoke for a minute I wish I had more time uh, to stop and talk to him but I had my wife on the phone so I had to keep it brief so hey man if you see the video thanks for watching my videos and everything I wish I'd had more time to talk to you I apologize Yeah, you know, I'm showing you the downside. Sometimes you get stuck in traffic like this. And, uh, you know, it's just part of it. You know, there's so much road construction going on everywhere, it seems. It's just, you know, you run up on this quite often. They've been working on this stretch of I-40 for a long time. You know, they they just keep moving it around where they've got it. I think what's happening here is they've got the right lane closed up ahead. Somewhere up ahead is what's what's causing the problem. So that's what I heard on the CB anyway. So with this load, I looked it up. The, the name of the town this load delivers to is Eden, Ohio. E-D-O-N, Ohio. It's kind of a, up in the northwest corner of Ohio. So I'm thinking I'll probably just get up early Monday morning and hit the road, drive all day Monday. And then get up and finish it out. It's supposed to be delivered on Tuesday by 8. Of course, that's Eastern Time. Um, and then from up in that area, I would say, you know, probably get dispatched to Butler, Indiana. Would be my first guess. Or maybe Delta, Ohio. We'll see. All right, that's all I got for now. See you when I get back to North Little Rock. Well, folks, I'm about a uh, mile and a half from the exit to the uh, North Little Rock Maverick Yard. Finally, wrap this week up. As you can see, it's gotten dark. It's about 9 p.m. on a Friday night. Been a long day. To make matters worse, you know, I had to drop that load that I picked up down in uh, Duke, Kentucky, you know, that drywall load. They had me drop it in Fort Smith. And, uh, you know, I got, a, got another load, which you saw me load. But the problem is, you know, I had to s swap around a lot of equipment, too. And the main thing, I got everything I needed except for the two big eight-foot drop tarps, or lumber tar tarps, as we call them, that were on the load. 
I know that I, I left there. And uh, the Fort Smith people don't have any of the eight foot tarps. They only have the smaller four foot tarps. So uh, I called, several hours ago I called and talked to, uh, well I tried to call, you know, the, the uh, supply guys were gone. Uh, so the way it works is I have to go through the shop people. I called and talked to the, whoever answered the phone at the shop, told him I was two or three hours away and needed to get a couple of tarps, you know, I don't have any tarps, eight foot drop tarps. And he said, okay, no problem, just, uh, you know, he could, he could get into the supply barn and get tarps for me, no problem, you know. So I waited till I was about 10, 10 minutes out, you know, 10 minutes from the North Little Rock yard. And I called and uh, I guess the guy I talked to earlier is, is gone. His shift must have ended or however they do it. And whoever was there now doesn't have a key. He asked around, you know, tried to find a key or no key. So he says I've got to got to wait till tomorrow morning. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with no tarps. You know, and their their solution is that I'm going to have to come come back in the morning, which I don't know. That's pretty pretty lame. So anyway, what I will do tomorrow is I'll try to call out here because I'm fixing the park. You know, I'm turning into on the Valentine Road right now. I'm about half a mile from the Maverick Yard. I'm gonna I'm gonna park here and I'll call out here tomorrow and see if I can get somebody to get me a couple of tarps and just put them in my tarp box for me. Hopefully, I can get somebody that'll do that under the circumstances so I don't actually have to come back out here off my 34-hour break and, and get some tarps. Anyway, see how that goes. Oh, what else do I need to say? got a, an email earlier from a fella I, I have to look at his name again it says he starts no I think I already mentioned that never mind skip that all right we're approaching the Maverick yard you can't see much but hey I'll give you a look at it in the dark Probably not going to be many parking spots to choose from this late on a Friday. needs a wash too I may not cuz I'm really with this load I'm thinking I may just leave out pretty early Monday morning because my GPS says that I'm it's about 13 hours from here to my customer so if I drive a full, you know, 10 and a half or 11 hours Monday, that'll put me, you know, that'll put me within two, two and a half hours. That'll work. 
have to be there for an 8 o'clock appointment, it says. Alright, I'm just going to kind of loop around here. That little weird sound you heard right there is a little warning. It's trying to let me know I've got less than an hour of drive time left. It'll keep doing that and get more aggressive as you whittle down closer to zero. <laughs> okay, there's really not any good spot so I'm gonna have to go over here and get in the front row it looks like <sighs> all right well I guess I'll just end it there folks pretty tired been a long week long day I get this thing parked and uh, Get my stuff moved over to my car and go home then call out here tomorrow and hopefully arrange if somebody can give me a couple of talks all right guys see you monday